Hi guys, welcome back to Angel Art. I'm Gretchen. Thank you for joining me here today. Uh, happy to see you. Let's continue this pleated journey. I've just did three pleated pores. This is going to be the fourth one. And out of the three I did the last past three, two had that burned amber. That burned amber really gives, and the black, like a stone feel of like a Grand Canyon feel to it. So I decided to leave that brown out this time. Not because I don't like it, because I really, really love the, that stones feel that it gives. But I just want to see if I leave that out with the straight pour again in the dustpan. What that's going to look like. Let's start filling this split top. So on the outer side, I'm going to do in the black. The two blues, I'm going to alternate. So I have a lot more of the metallic. So I'm going to put a lot of metallic, a little bit of the sky, a lot of metallic, a little bit of the sky. Once again, a lot of metallic. A little bit of the sky and once again a lot of metallics okay and a little bit of the sky blue Let's go Naples yellow. And let's go with the greens. The hummingbird, the gorgeous Okinawa. The hummingbird, and the last bit of Okinawa. Yeah, I'm very happy with these pigments, you guys. Let's go. This is going to be a totally different look, guys. Where is my blue going? Let's see, where is that blue coming? Sorry, you can't see everything. It's like a wait. Yeah, I'm gonna go go further again. One minute. Not finished. But the paint is going over. Let's see. Before it starts to run. 
Yeah, this is totally different guys. The brown really does it for me. I think. And I'm not seeing a lot of the green. Let's go again. I mean, I'm not seeing a lot of the blue. Sorry. Come on. I got you. Wow. I love that little circle there. Okay. Uh, I could <laughs> it's so thin. Here comes all that green. Okay, so I've hit it. Let's go up. Just oh, uh, let's go all the way up. I'm seeing some blue, but not a lot. Let's start tilting first before spinning.
gonna put her on my stand and be right back it's like something is moving in the water you know the ripples of the, the, the ocean wow I mean if you look good you're gonna find the green in there I mean the blue in there here it's blue there is blue this is blue it's not that the green took over because the blue is in there but this prison poor hummingbird green it is I think yeah it was it's not taking over because the blue is in there but it's brighter so it just shows up more love these ripples So as you, what I just did is to look what are the darker colors, what is going to be my focal point. So I, I noticed that that center where the black was a lot was very dominant in the painting. And all I did was like use that as my focal point in the pore. This is like some kind of wave that's that's coming towards you. This side is gorgeous as well, guys. And once again, green does it for me. <laughs> I know it's not your color. I know it's not a lot of people's favorite color. I mean, since I was small, my mom always said, green is my favorite color. And I was like, Excuse me, serious? How is that possible, you know? Green? Nah, not green. But yeah, I learned to love the color. There's the right amount of brightness. There's the right amount of black in this piece. Even the green and the blue and the black makes so beautiful. So... Yeah, the right amount of Naples yellow in the center, so it doesn't become too dark. I'm very happy with this one. Well, let's go in for the close-up. I hope you liked my video and if you did don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button hit that notification bell for me also okay I would love to see you next week thanks so much for being here greetings and love from the Netherlands